Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Michi Makes Up. Today I want to compare two sets of bronzers from two different brands, demo them, swatch them for you guys, and the two brands are Charlotte Tilbury and Chanel. Charlotte Tilbury released uh, new cream bronzers, and I did a video dedicated to just these bronzers. Um, I picked up shade number one and shade number two, fair and medium, respectively. Here they are. And these are giant bronzers. Um, they are meant for both the face and body. Then I also have um, samples of Chanel's Soleil Tan Cream Bronzers. Um, I was very curious. I wanted to pick up one you know, full-size product, but I was very curious because as part of Chanel's 2022 Late Beige Collection, they actually release a medium shade uh, part of the Soleil Tan line. So it's 392 medium. Uh, previously, they only had two shades, universal, you know, universal, very nice and light, and then deep shade. So there were only two options, and it makes sense that they're adding a third one. And I just like to compare how these bronzers uh, look on the face and also swatch it for you guys. And because this is my second time filming the video, the first time around, I didn't turn the mic on. I hate it when that happens. Um, so it's the second time and I actually already swatched it on my arm. So this is number one from Charlotte Tilbury, fair. Number two, also from Charlotte Tilbury. And number uh, 390 Universal from Chanel. And then 392 Medium from Chanel. Uh, the notable difference besides the shade is that the Chanel bronzers are creamier and slicker in comparison to Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury's is creamy as well. Um, you know, I've been using it over the past week and a half and I don't really have any issues of uh, diffusing the product, spreading it or anything like that. But I feel like it's gonna, I don't know, this feels nice and light and the color payoff in comparison is also lighter than these two. Um, this shade number one is notably cooler than the rest, whereas these two, um, even though they're two different shades, they actually look quite similar. I mean, this is deeper, warmer, and redder, but the difference here is much less than number one and two from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna go ahead and use shade one and put that onto the right side of my face. I am using Sonia G's Fusion Brush Jumbo Base. So we will be using that brush today. And I also want to note that Jacqueline from Hey It's Jacqueline, her channel, she actually did a video with the same content um, where she compared the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers with the Chanel Soleil Tan. And it was really helpful, really useful. From her experience, she um, thought that, and it, and it did look that way too, that the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers gave a more sculpted look even though the way that she was placing it was more about warming the complexion and yes, placing it strategically so it does, um, you know, highlight parts of her face or uh, made the highlights pop out more because she was, you know, bronzing and making other parts of her face deeper. Uh, whereas the Chanel one was more like warming the complexion overall and so I was very curious for myself to see if it's going to be the same experience for me for someone with light to medium skin tone and I do actually um, tan quite a bit during the summer. I am outside a lot. Uh, I do enjoy swimming and just you know doing things where as the heat allows anyway but I do enjoy being outside. So let's get into shade number one from Charlotte Tilbury. And I don't have any bronzer on um, because also it's the second time that I'm filming this. Uh, I actually removed any bronzer that I had on and applied foundation. So this is truly zero bronzer. So that's one application. Go back in for a second one. And then let me clean off this brush. We'll get to Universal from Chanel on the left side. So 
So this is on the left side, Chanel 390. It would be considered their light shade. Versus Charlotte Tilbury, number one fair. Um, I would say the Charlotte Tilbury one does give a more sculpted look. It's more apparent that I have some color on my face. And it does contrast against areas that don't have any bronzer. Uh, much more, you could say, effectively or much more obviously. Um, so I think Chanel, what we're seeing here is very typical of their... Of some of their complexion products and some of their blushes uh, maybe even eyeshadow where you know they're they're just like applying a certain you know a little bit of pigment here uh, it definitely doesn't feel like there's a it's a quality thing maybe just pigmentation and payoff um, it's just overall lighter it is quite easy to spread and I feel like it's very difficult to make a mistake um, unless maybe you're using a shade way too deep for your skin but otherwise I can't imagine I also don't think the Chanel Soleil Tan bronzers um, at least not with this you know light shade is really that buildable either so if you don't have fair skin um, I don't actually recommend this shade but if you have light to medium skin like me and I've gone some Sun over the past a couple of weeks um, I do think Charlotte Tilbury number one would still work well and I think uh, it is a bit more buildable as well compared to Chanel so let me take this off on both sides and then we'll come back to do shade number two from each of the brands I'm going into number two from Charlotte Tilbury this is medium And I don't know that I need to go back for a second application because this is quite deep for me, what I'm used to. Although it does look, it does look nice. Um, in my dedicated video to just these bronzers, one thing I did notice is, um, using the shade as a contour i find that it's not for my skin tone it's not as effective as some of the other uh, bronzers that i have that are redder in in pigment than this one uh, this when we compare to number one it, it's it's much redder but it's not quite the same so if you're interested in seeing a dedicated video of just these two shades here and how it compares to the rest of my small <laughs> i just want to warn you a smaller bronzer collection um, i'll have a link below so you guys can take a look here but as overall warming the complexion i think it does get the job done and it is more obvious it is definitely more obvious than shade number one i just don't know how i feel about it um because i know during the winter time i definitely would not be able to use the shade so that's number two from charlotte tilbury in medium all right again let me clean this brush off and we'll head into Chanel on the left side so this is actually with two applications from Chanel because that after that first application I felt like we're not seeing quite as much difference compared to Charlotte Tilbury's on the right side. So I was like, let me see how buildable this product is. I did not go back in for a second application from Charlotte Tilbury because what I had with one was good enough and I did not want to, I actually still plan to go out, so I didn't want to have to take this off uh, because of just like a super stark difference between the two sides. And really I thought I had enough for, you know, where my pigment is at for my skin naturally. So with Charlotte Tilbury, um, again, like shade number one, this is, it is more obvious, there's more contrast, and uh, it does give you more of a sculpted look. Whereas um, with Chanel, it is more about warming the complexion in a very soft way. It is very much on par with the brand. Um, definitely shade 392 is more suitable for me than 
that lighter shade 390. Uh, I think 390 is way too light. I don't even know how much use I would really get out of it even in winter time. So definitely 392, which I'm glad they came out with. I'm curious how the deepest shade would look and if it would, and I just know it would still be lighter than Shaw Tilbury's um, bronzers in general. I think it's more about warming the complexion. Uh, the other difference between the two is these bronzers are unscented, whereas the Chanel ones are. So there's that difference as well, if that matters to you. And I think overall, I might prefer the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers because I do want more contrast. Um, I'll see how they wear for the rest of the day. And just, you know, if this might be like, the Chanel might be too slick or something and it kind of slides. And then I would say um, in terms of just how it feels after it's been applied, it's only been a couple of minutes, but neither side feels sticky, creamy. I think they both have set nicely. Curious how it's gonna sit in the humidity <laughs> once I venture outside. So I'll definitely give you guys an update on that. Um, but yes. That's the comparison between the two brands. If you really want to know, hopefully I was able to answer your question there. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and ring the bell to get notified every time new content is released. I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Bye.